Hello there, uh, my name's Ashley, I'm a tutor on uh, Foundations to Psychology uh, and today I'm going to be showing you how to search for your core textbook using the university's library. So first things first, uh, this is the University of Bedfordshire's just uh, homepage as I'm sure you're all familiar with, um, but we're not able to access the library from here. Um, so the best way to do that is to know that first of all we call our library the Learning Resources Centre. So uh, let's have a look. How do we do this? lrweb.beds.ac.uk. So LR stands for Learning Resources. Web it's their website obviously, and then .beds.ac.uk because we're at the University of Bedfordshire. Okay, so if we go to that website, what we see is a similar homepage to the main university homepage, um, but there's a few differences. Um, there's a few ways from here that you can access the library catalogue. Um, the first is to just simply click on this here where it says catalogue, or you can click here where it says catalogue. Um, but what I really like is the fact that it gives you search boxes so that rather than wasting your time clicking on things and then typing, you can just type and click straight away. So there's two search boxes here, um, when you're searching for just books that you are pretty sure are in the library um, or you would like to see in the library you can just uh, use this here, the library catalogue is quite a straightforward um, search engine to be honest. Um, Discover is a lot more advanced, Discover um, incorporates not just books but it also incorporates journal articles, um, newspapers, ebooks. Um, electronic journals, paper journals, it, it encompasses everything um, all into one, it even has periodicals um, and things that you wouldn't even uh, think of as, as sources of, of, of information. We'll come to this a bit later um, as it's very very important um, to learn how to use Discover efficiently um, in order to uh, progress with your degree. So let's just start off by searching uh, for the title of the book which is Psychology as I'm hoping you're all aware, just to refresh you, the title is Psychology uh, and the authors are Coma, Gould and Furnham and that's uh, published in 2013 by Wiley and that was in Sussex. Okay, so let's just click search and see where this takes us. So it takes us away from the LR web website and it takes us to library.beds.ac.uk. Now that's quite important to remember because if you want to search for a book rather than going to LR web first, you can just come straight to library.beds. So that's LR web and library.beds.ac.uk, two very handy uh, web addresses to remember because it saves you clicking on all the different uh, buttons. Okay, so what we seem to have got here is 532 pages of books, which is nice to know we have plenty of books on psychology, and that's a grand total of 6,379 results um, relating to psychology. So what the search engine's done here, because we didn't have any options uh, on the previous pages, just dumped that in as a keyword, uh, and it's just blurted out uh, thousands and thousands of results, as you can see. Um, which is fantastic. We've obviously got we've got a huge collection here at the university, and they're all really really valuable uh, books uh, as resources uh, for for work that we do in the university. However, this isn't very good in terms of if we were just to click next and go through them one by one, we could be here all day. So what we need to do is we need to narrow down this 6,379 down to as few as possible, hopefully under 10, uh, so we can find our book really really easily. So one way we can do that is, this is just using this as a keyword, so we're getting books here that might not have the title of psychology, but have a key topic area of psychology. So let's change it from a keyword to a title, because we know the, the title is just psychology, and then let's search and see what that comes up with. Okay, so psychology at the top there, just straight psychology only 29 so we're getting a bit closer there uh, so we've gone from 6,000 down to 29 that's not bad but um, still not on this first page if the search result isn't on the first page or the first half of the first page even um, I wouldn't bother continuing because it's a waste of time usually there's a way to um, narrow down the search result now let me just make this clear this is only if you're searching for a book you know 
so a very specific book or a very specific journal article if you were just searching for generic information about psychology or generic information about a, a specific subject like health psychology um, you would want to read each one of these results because you could be missing out on important information but because we know the book we're looking for we don't care about anything else we just want to find that book and we want to find where it is in our library does that make I hope that makes sense to everybody so in order to do that we want to have the quickest search uh, strategy possible so that we're not wasting time looking at stuff we don't need to okay so the title psychology is maybe still a little bit broad um, so another way we can do that is to select author uh, and let's just type in the, the first author's name which is coma uh, and that doesn't seem that popular to me so let's see what that brings up okay so there's still 10 authors with uh, coma's name um, and it gives us lots of different ones with the first name. Now I don't know the first name, I just know the initial and the initial is an R so I'll assume it's Ronald here uh, and let's just click on that and see what it brings up. Okay yeah it looks about right. So we have abnormal psychology, abnormal psychology uh, and there we have it, uh, psychology. So the information that's given to you here is the author, although there are three it's only given us one which isn't ideal um, so don't take this as a given when you come to write your references it's always best to check the book or the full library record for the authors uh, we can see the publisher and where it was published I said Sussex earlier it says here Chichester um, it gives us the year how many pages etc gives us a usually gives you a thumbnail of the um, the front cover of the book uh, and then it gives you the the format of the book so the format here is uh, a hard copy uh, it can also be ebook as well uh, if it is an ebook you can actually click through um, and it will say somewhere around here it will give you a link to be able to um, uh, find the ebook and access it so the information here is very very similar you have the full, this time the full author list um, again the publisher in the year and this is probably the most important if you actually want to get your hands on the book if it is only in paper form such as this one um, and this is very very straightforward and easy to, to to understand you've got the location and that's literally the campus location so this one's located in Luton Park Square uh, the class mark which um, is again something which I'm hoping is familiar to all of you uh, who have frequented uh, college libraries uh, and public libraries in the past it's similar to the Dewey Decimal System and that helps you to locate the book on the shelf and then it gives you the loan type this is important to look at because if you see here that it's reference only then you can't um, expect to take that book away from the library so reference only books must stay in the library and you must do your note taking or photocopying within the library uh, you can't take it out there's different loan types short long standard um, so it's important just to look at that because it will give you an idea of how long you've got with the book uh, and then finally again quite important is the status you don't want to be good going now for instance uh, if I was to go to the, the library now they wouldn't have this book because it's due back uh, on the 11th of October 2013 um, if it was in the library it would just say available if there was more than one copy which there should be very very shortly because there are more on order um, you would see multiple copies here so that's about it really for the information that you need to be able to go and find this book um, the only other important thing to show you on the, the book library catalog is the advanced search because this can help you find books even quicker um, the quick search which I just showed you um, it is very handy but if you know already the title and the and at least one author it's, it's even quicker just to use this so for instance if we select author coma and then title psychology and then just click submit it brings it up straight away so it's much quicker much more effective if you know what you're looking for if you don't know what you're looking for quick search is handy because you could just type in uh, a keyword um, of, of anything so let's say uh, health psychology uh, and then you, again you would need to look through that to find what you actually wanted and whether that was going to be any good uh, here's an example of um, an ebook so this is something that you should be able to read online uh, they also have exam papers so previous years exam papers that can be really helpful when it comes to revision um, and as you've seen before the hard copies as well okay so that's about it for the uh, finding your core textbook video uh, thank you very much